So welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and um, response to On Point's excellent video the other day talking about um, historical books that you could recommend to the community. I think actually it came out of the um, uh, the stream that me and Ken and Liam did on Monday night. We were discussing uh, historical, historical accuracy and research and what have you. Um, and um, it was a really good discussion and I think it's continued offline which is fantastic. So. Um, I had to think really long and hard about which books to recommend um, because like many people I guess I've got loads and loads of the damn things uh, more than I'll ever get around to reading frankly um, but I always love reading history but always have done so I thought I'd take three that everyone else seems to be doing or lots of other people seem to be doing Second World War books and there are some crackers I mentioned a couple on the stream um, but I thought I would recommend this book because it was recommended to me by one of my channel viewers. Um, I forget who, apologies. Um, but I was painting up the Baron Wars figures that I got from the Kickstarter and um, commenting that I don't know beyond the Magna Carta, obviously, I don't know a huge amount of the period, about the period. Um, and somebody recommended this book, King John by Mark Morris. Um, and I got it as a an audible book, which is why I can't show you the book itself. Um, but you can see here it's available on on uh, Amazon. Uh, Three ninety nine as a Kindle, eight nineteen as a paperback, um, or one of your credits for the audible. And um, I have to say it was absolutely stunning. If it was a book, it would have been a page turner. As it was, it was um, a, a electronic book move on bit. No, that is audible. Anyway, you know what I mean. It was absolutely amazing I couldn't stop listening to it it's like um, it, the story of the period is like a soap opera I mean it's just the most extraordinary story you could not make it up what uh, what went on um, with the reign of King John and how he got the reputation he did just absolutely awesome book um, can't speak highly of it uh, enough if you have even a vaguest interest in that medieval period of England of how the Magna Carta came about. I thoroughly recommend you read, listen or do whatever you do in your own time with this book because it's just absolutely fantastic. So the second book I'm going to recommend is Templars A Rise and Fall of God's Holy Warriors by Dan Jones. Um, I heard the author of this book talking about it on um, uh, History Hits TV the Dan Snow program um, online history channel well worth getting if you uh, get a chance to you can afford to pay I think it's about five pound a month or something you need to subscribe to it really really good stuff that he has on there um, but he was interviewing Dan Jones and I thought that sounded really really interesting as I've said before in videos I think I prefer the Hospitallers than the Templars but the Templars are fascinating in fact the whole history of the military arms of the church um, in and around Jerusalem and the, the Crusades is absolutely fascinating um, and um, I was really interested by hearing what Dan Jones had to say when he was talking about this book so I bought the Kindle edition um, and um, I think as it I think they were doing some deal at the time and you could get the audible at the same time so I've been listening to it on audible and it's a fascinating listen really interesting covering the whole history of the how the Templars started out and it talks a bit about some of the other um, orders like the Teutonics and the Hospitlers but mainly it's the Templars it talks about their involvement in politics across Europe um, some amazing stuff like um, you know at a time when um, a king was the divine ruler of a country struggled to control um, their own little kingdoms the Templar lords or the you know hospital lords who ran the whole sect managed to run all their chapters that were based in multiple countries across the whole of the known world uh, and managed to run them effectively and extremely efficiently um, and it was just an extraordinary history extraordinary period of history these uh, religious orders um, that were both primarily set up to protect the um, the pilgrims going to the Holy Lands and then became you know, bankers to the kings of, the, of Europe they became 
um, fearsome and warrior sect effectively um, and ultimately of course fell from grace and were taken over so I'm pretty much three quarters of the way through the book at the moment really enjoying it and Dan Jones is, has a really good style um, one of those really to, easy to understand and really easy to follow historians when he's uh, researching a book or when he's writing a book and in fact for the audible he actually recounts the book as well so it's him um, telling you the story at the same time so really thoroughly recommend this book so the third book I'm going to recommend is one that you might actually struggle to get hold of um, this is The Mongol Empire by M. Michael Prodin. Um it's a very old book um, this was this edition uh, 1938 I think was the first published yep 1938 um, this is a book that basically has a lot of um, nostalgia for me primarily it was one of the books that really got me into um, history and wargaming um, via history primarily um, this is a book that was written say, in, in 1938 um, look at this wonderful old map it's a battered old library book this one um, I actually got this book when I was probably I don't know maybe 10 11 maybe a long time ago from the local library uh, I don't know why I got it but I did and I picked it up I do because I was sort of interested by the Mongols I didn't know much about them and I read this book from cover to cover I was absolutely mesmerized by it um, it's it's a little bit dated let's be honest now it was originally um, uh, well, the original edition was a Russian book translated in German or published then in German and then in English um, and it basically chronicles the rise and fall of the Mongol empires so it starts with Genghis Khan his rise um, through to um, you know, his the empire the Mongol empire itself takes you through the the subsequent successor uh, empires Kublai Khan and, and so forth down to uh, Tamerlane sort of sort of offshoots I guess you'd say and then the sort of the heirs and the end of the Mongol Empire and I remember reading this book um, cover to cover um, a couple of times actually being absolutely mesmerized by the whole thing it was just fascinating to me and I was absolutely loved it um, just really got me excited into things and before that I didn't really read very much uh, it wasn't something I'd read Lord of the Rings I think the, as you know the the Hobbit was the book that really cracked it for me for getting into reading and then this book was one of the other early books that I read in terms of history books um, it's been discredited a little bit in places it's a little bit um, dated in its views um, it, <laughs> um, I hate to say the fact the the book itself or the book he wrote on Genghis Khan um, was a very popular book in SS circles so Heydrich Himmler apparently um, ordered multiple copies of that book and handed around the hierarchy of the Nazi party so not necessarily the best thing in the world but this book um, it just I just found it very interesting and it was very much the sort of books that I used to read as a kid um, through my teens through my 20s I guess um, and still love to read now so sort of just run you through the history of things a, a, a sequential in a very readable way of how things happened in history and I loved it I still do so that would definitely have to be on my on my list of books even though as I say this one sold by Surrey, Surrey um, County Library some years ago and look at the state of it I'd love to get another edition of this that might look out um, but yeah yellowed book so there's my three books so um, forgive me for being a little bit forward but I will put a link in the description for the two of the books that you can buy uh, on Amazon um, part of the affiliate link if you feel so inclined click on the link and it will take you through it and if you buy it I get a little tiny bit of money from it I think it's a few pence but it all adds up right and any money I'm going to get through the channel I'll reinvest 
uh, as it moves forward. So um, if you if you fancy either of the other two books um, that I've recommended, go through the links and um, you'll get the you'll still pay the same price that you would have done on Amazon Direct, but just I get a little bit affiliate link. But there's my three books. Thoroughly recommend them. I could have had all kinds of other ones. There was a, a book on the um, uh, German defenders at D-Day um, that I absolutely love. Fascinating book. Um, horrific book, actually. Um, I've got some fantastic books about the Vikings. The um, close, close to me selecting was a book about um, Waterloo and the impact of the uh, German... Um, and Dutch troops at Waterloo, which I found absolutely fascinating as well. I noticed somebody else in one of the videos talking about um, uh, a book by Hastings, uh, Max Hastings. And to be honest, I think pretty much any book by H Max Hastings would, would feature in most people's top tens. Um, I've got certainly probably a dozen, half a dozen Max Hastings books. And again, would certainly recommend all those as well. But lots of them. Um, but I'm just trying to stick to my three, even though I've now mentioned about four or five. There you go. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe uh, to the channel if you haven't yet done so. And um, let me know, or let us know through your video, what your three three book recommendations are. Because I'm really, really fascinated. I've got a feeling my reading library is going to expand exponentially based on this video series so thanks on point for deciding to do this really good idea and i really look forward to hearing what everyone has to say this is dom signing out